Hello, BookTube. Sorry about the block of sunlight. <laughs> uh, it doesn't appear to be going anywhere. I've recently uncovered a window here in, in the front room, and that's why the light has gone rogue. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to do, I, I figure you can live, <laughs> and I wanted to do the mail. The mail is only three packages, but uh, it has something remarkable, and that is weight. The, the first package is this thing, flies the feather, and the second two are enormously heavy. <laughs> So, who knows what they are, but I can't wait to find out. Uh, so we'll find out together. This first one is, is tiny. Well, I, don't, I don't know what it could be. Uh, oh. Okay. All right. Uh, it's a, it's a Kirkus book. <laughs> uh, so those of you who might be new to the channel, I, I review uh, books for Kirkus Reviews. And every once in a while, I do mostly electronic books, but every once in a while they'll, they'll send one. A, a printed book, and, and that's that's this one. And the uh, the date for it is Christmas Eve. <laughs> All right, so then we'll move on to this next one. This is it's heavy. All right, let's see what this is. Oh my! Oh! oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, this came out just in time for Halloween, so it's a little bit late getting to me. But, oh my, isn't it lovely? <laughs> oh, oh. This is uh, Death, a graveside companion. Look at how the Grim Reaper is gilded in gold there. Look at that. Death, a graveside companion. <laughs> huh. uh, with a forward by Will Self and, and uh, 1,000 macabre illustrations. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how it's printed. 1,000 macabre illustrations. <laughs> and this is a, a cultural... It's a, it's a big pictorial history of death. Uh, One-of-a-kind art history. Death, a graveside companion, is a captivating treasury of images that serves as a testament to humanity's quests, metaphysical, mythological, scientific, and popular, to imagine, respond to, and come to terms with our own inescapable end. <laughs> Huh. Oh my! So this this just goes on. Uh, the pictures go on chronologically, uh, but there's tons of stuff. Oh my! How wonderful! Oh, okay, death, a graveside companion, and then we have a box, and it weighs a ton. So God knows what's in here. Uh, maybe more than one book. That 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 could very well be. Let's, let's see what we have here. Oh no, no! <laughs> it is more than one book. But it's not a lot of books. It's just, it's two enormous books. Well, the wonderful folks at Zondervan, the, uh, the, the religious publisher. Uh, look at how beautiful these are. Oh, this is the, illustri the Zondervan Illustrated Bible Dictionary. Look at that. Look at the size of this thing. Uh, and it just, it takes you through all of the, you know, the key terms uh, from, <laughs> let's find out. <laughs> let's, let's find out where it starts. It starts with uh, the letter A and Aaron. Uh, and it goes all the way to, you biblical scholars, can you tell me? It goes all the way to Zuzites, <laughs> a pre-Israelite tribe of Syria, Palestine, mentioned in Genesis 14 as one of the nations overthrown by the Elamite king. Uh, oh, God, help us. Look at all these things. Look at this. Oh, this is lovely. And it's, it's covered throughout in full-color photos. Just a, just a fantastic reference work. Look at that. Uh, and then the next one is also Zondervan. It's also huge. This is the... Uh, oh, 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 oh. This, is, this is by Michael Horton. Look at the size of this thing. This is the Christian faith. Look at that. A systematic theology for pilgrims on the way. Wow. Look at the size of this thing. Okay. So, so it doesn't have a, I guess Zondervan doesn't do pub sheets. Um, I wonder if this has a, a introduction of any kind that we can see here. Uh, in 1949, this is how it begins. In 1949, English playwright and novelist Dorothy Sayers observed the common antipathy in her day toward doctrine. Dull dogma, they call it, according to Sayers. However, Christianity is, is the most interesting story ever told. And the dogma is the drama. For many Christians, words such as doctrine and theology, and especially systematic theology, uh, conjure up 
Images of intellectual pride, divisiveness, and the presumption that we can put God in a box, neatly explained by our categories and formulations. Of course, we are nearly infinitely resourceful in using good things with corrupt motives and for less than noble ends. We can exhibit spiritual pride also in our experience or mortality. However, it is the goal of good theology to humble us before the triune God of majesty and grace. As we will see more, more fully, the older theologians of the Reformation and post-Reformation eras were so convinced that their interpretations fell far short of the majesty of God that they called their summaries and systems our humble theology and a theology for pilgrims on the way. Wow. Okay, so this is a this is a, a thousand page <laughs> systematic theology of Christianity done in the year of our grace, 2017. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if I can do a pyramid because it's so it's they're so heavy. We've got the Christian faith. We have the Zondervan Illustrated Bible Dictionary. Uh, we have death, a graveside companion. <laughs> and then we have some slim Kirkus thing up on top. Really doesn't even go into a weight class. Fantastic. Wow. Well, that is the heaviest mail haul that I've had this year. Uh, we'll see what comes uh, later on today. Uh, that'll be it for now, but I'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, book two.